Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 Kaiser Against the Commune of France. Let us continue on from we last left off. So, we're currently helping CNT win the war in Spain. I think it's working out, so far I would say quite nicely. But I want to switch attention away from the kingdom onto the Carlos, because I think they might actually be the bigger threat for us. So let's see if we can move our divisions up north. International stakes in the Ukrainian election. Hope for Socialist Ukraine has rekindled lately. Only a few months ago, the exiled Ukrainian People's Republic, led by Simon Pletria and his allies in direction, launched an insurgency against the German back Hetman Pavlo uh, Skorpetsky and successfully overthrown his government. Despite some hoping for a full blown revolution in Ukraine, many were disappointed when the new government continued ties with Middle Europa in alignment with the German sphere. However, some have ho now hope that um, some of that hope has come back now with the news that Ukraine will be holding an election in the coming months, which will have three main contenders: the Radical Democratic Party, the Social Democratic Workers Party, and the Revolutionary Bloc. The Revolutionary Bloc, true to its name, holds revolutionary socialist views, and though they are sure to be constrained by the rather tenuous position between uh, Germany and Russia, they have uh, would be our best bet to support and would no doubt align with us should we prove victorious against Germany. We maintain an unofficial context of revolutionary bloc in exile, and some have called for convert funding to the bloc as well as meetings with their leadership so that we can bolster their chance of winning the election. Okay, let's reach out. 20 political power doesn't seem too bad to maybe get an, election, uh, get an alliance with the um, Ukrainians. Okay. The Congress of uh, Polish Socialist Party. Despite Social Democrats often standing with, against us in support for reactionaries, some other parties are more vulnerable uh, to are more vulnerable to true revolutionary ideas than the others. The Polish Social Party is among the uh, that that would be more susceptible, and the Congress this week will uh, possibly be a major turning point for them. There are two men competing for leadership: revisionist class collaborationist uh, Nebret Blecki and a true revolutionary Stanislaw Dovoy. The boy is swearing uh, to return the PPS to the roots, to combat foreign oppression, and liberate Poland free from compromises. He would be our ideal ally for us. Does someone see, uh, see funding him uh, as a vain effort? It's very likely that the moderate Balaki will win, thanks to Austrian bankers behind him. But perhaps we can pull our concepts in the party and give the boy the edge that he needs. Yes, let us uh, spend a flitting political power. Make them more syndicalist aligned, please and thank you. Now I will say, I might actually recall our trucks to send over some infantry. Because I feel like the trucks actually maybe were not the best bet here. Are we still losing fuel even for this little bit here? I guess our daily gain is actually like fucking horrible, huh? Is there anything we want to buy on the open market? It seems like the answer right now is no. But we actually, we do need a lot of stuff. We do need more trucks. We do need artillery pieces. Okay, let's do four deliveries of you. Let's buy some British tanks as well. Is there anything else we want to buy? You know what? I'll even buy some support equipment. Max that out. Let's buy some good old stuff off the market. I, I, I will say, even just a little bit of the market that we've used, I do think it's quite interesting. But I would also like some oil. Let's get that from Russia. Let's buy two factories worth, please. And I think we do really need to kill the Carlist. Okay, the fifth, the uh, fifth anniversary of the 1932 Geneva strike. Okay, well, unfortunately, um, the vote was a close one, possibly the most intense of decades. After hours of debate and arguments from both sides, the uh, Blackie supporters ultimately won the day. Okay, well, what can you do? Five years ago today, the works of Geneva began a major industrial action, demanding social and economic reforms, which threatened to spread to the rest of uh, French-speaking Western Switzerland, known as Renandi. Fearful of potential revolutionary influence by the Commune of France, Senate government in Bern reacted swiftly by sending in the Federal Army to break the strike. In the ensuing violence, 13 were killed and over 100 injured in Geneva. This left a, a bitter divide between Romandie and Bern, which over the subsequent years has failed to heal. Encouraged by recent developments in France, the radical left has begun to agitate once more, in its plan to standing uh, socialist candidates in the upcoming local elections. Lord of the Social Democrats, traditionally very strong in Romandie, have uh, devised a reform package in conjunction with the trade unions, the Peace and Work Agreement, which involves a number of policies uh, regarding wage increases, shift times, and so on. One of the key points is to put an end to the massive lockouts which, uh, to watch manufacturers, uh, which has uh, taken place recently. Social Democratic candidates are relying on these programs to be re-elected, and hopefully to fuse the stand-up between the radical left and the conservative-dominated federal government in Bern. 
Well, hopefully it doesn't work out, so we can uh, spread some influence there. I think that'd be quite nice for us. Okay, 40, 40, 55. We're looking good on here. I'm going to send these trucks to you. And let me just bring instead two infantry. Uh, I just want whoever has, like, the best stats. We'll put you in charge. We're going to send you back to Russia. How many planes could I send? Two? Okay, let's send, um, some aircraft. Let's send you here first. 200. There's only 26 in this area. But that's not too bad. And I want to get, yes, Empower the Rifleman. 10% attack, defense, and recovery rate. Boom. It's really, really, really nice. And for our Doctrines... I don't know why I'm keep getting bonuses to you. Oh, actually, no, because you, you also just cost, uh... I actually should get some Mountaineerings then. Some Mountaineers. Okay, I can get one Mountaineer. But it's still better than nothing. So don't spend those points. Save them until we can actually get a good benefit. So the kingdom, they have to be waning, right? Yeah, they're they're close to giving up, which I'm happy to see. Let's get some military factories in Paris. Let's see if we can take these areas. We can get our way to Bilbao, take, take Burgos. Should basically be the end of the car list, and I'll be very happy. Like, once we can kill one of these two factions, the other one should collapse pretty quickly after that. And when do you arrive? You'll be there on the 20th. So you'll be there tomorrow. And I want to send you over to Kazan. Yeah, I want to send you, like, right there. Sounds good to me. I wonder if we can take Bilbao from the back. I don't think it's impossible. Okay, 79, 48. I would like to say a unit move here, if that would be possible. We will actually, we will take the capital. May maybe. Okay, Burgos has collapsed. That puts you down the waning as well. So we got two different waning factions, which is beautiful for us. And you know what? Give me excavation too. Sounds nice. And Jack Reed, you should be, yeah, you have the rifle president, so you have a nice little bonus. And we got a four-way civil war, which actually I should know because whenever one of the radicals get elected, it's always it's always a four-way. So I think Bilbao is going to be our next main target here. Your capital is actually Madrid, even though you don't have a, that's not a core of yours. And our Indian ally has been encircled, which is a little embarrassing, but that's okay. Okay, seventy-one, seventy-five. Like one clique's been annexed. Yeah, let's get this encirclement. Fantastic. Okay, violence in occupied Hut Savoy. Reports have come to Paris bearing news of violent oppression of syndicalist freedom fighters in Hut Savoy who are attempting to organize a referendum on the region's return to the French governance. The Swiss government in Bern has sent military forces to suppress the vote, and violence has broken out over the legality of the referendum. Okay, so in a few days, we'll hold your position here for a second. These are just militia units, so they should die pretty, pretty fast. And now you have low support, so you should collapse very, very soon. Look at this guy! Look at the 5th Brigade! They moved all the way to the border of Portugal. They are fucking doing good work. Okay, hold your position here. They'll probably seize this region, which is a little sad, but it's not the worst. Okay, pro Syndicalist victory in Romandi. Actually, let me just check. Do we actually have violence here? No, not yet. It's not. There's no unrest. Thanks to the ill-advised uh, measures taken by the Swiss authorities to put an end to their union's demands for better wages and legal protections, their public display of violence against our people in Hvot Savoy, we have enough political capital to begin efforts to support syndicalist movements in the nation and attempt to retake Hvot Savoy. Uh, this is a great opportunity for the commune to forge stronger ties with those syndicalist agitators and pro-French syndicalists who could assist in our goal of recovering Hvot Savoy. Whoever the pro-German pro austrian pro service will uh, probably try to topple these worker elected representatives. Let us absolutely try it. Try to gain influence. 
Our agent's been captured. Very, very sad. So you know what? 42 days. Let's get an extra operative slot then. And you know what? Actually, let's get a cryptology department. Okay, let's see if we can go take these areas here. Our, our ally is just spreading through uh, northern Spain. So we, we should see a victory in, in the Spanish front. Which is very, very nice. More fuel refining, please. Oh, you guys actually taken um, Kazan without me. That's okay. I mean, that, that works out well for us. We, can, we need to take Etzenberg if we can. Because I know there's another like major city close to the Russian front. So we'll kill you off. And then I probably want to put you, like, right here. And then kind of spearhead your way to Etzenberg. Okay, and war in America now haven't broken out. Canada's taken New England. That's actually probably better for us. We need to send more units here. Okay, let's send two infantry divisions. Throw you in command here. Offer material support. Let's send you and some air volunteers. So it looks like MacArthur decided to try to defend everything, which just never work never works out for the AI. So we're pretty happy with that development. Okay, Bilbao still basically under control. I want you to be moving your way over to here. You've got to be. Almost dead, right? Carl is at 37. You're worth one. And, you know, let's actually send you down to the uh, King of Spain now. Because, again, like, once we kill the Carlist, getting rid of the other faction shouldn't be too difficult. You're worth three, you're worth five. And Lyon is worth one. It looks like one of our allies is going to take that city. Which is great for us. The Carlists have now been killed off. And then all our units can move their way down south. Fuck yeah. Okay, let's send guns here. Let's develop... Mex... Or, let's develop Italy for now. Mexico, what ideology are you? You're radical socialist? Excellent. So you should join up the international at some point. Just gotta make sure, because again, if they go totalist, then they don't join, uh... They don't join our faction, unfortunately. Did I turn on night and day mode? No, I didn't. Okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell. Okay, let's go seize the uh, little peninsula here in Maryland. Take what we can. Again, we don't need to worry about New England too much. Presumably, at least. And for you, let's actually delete this line. Let's actually move you over here. Away from where the main Spanish force is. And yeah, we're just going to have you move your way to the capital. Okay, Hawaii is joined with the Japanese. That really doesn't matter too much for us. Do we need war support? Not really. At least not at the moment. Are you... You're probably, like, no longer waning. Yeah, you're high now because you did recapture Madrid based on a technicality. Okay, let's see if we can make our way, just take the entire Portuguese border, move our way down to Gibraltar, please. Now, is there anything we want to sell on the market? We do have a lot of guns, actually, so you know what? Let's see if we can, let's just put 5,000 rifles on the market. And you know what? We'll actually sell them for cheap as well. Let's sell 10,000, 5,000 rifles for cheap. We've got a lot of extras to spare for now. We do need a lot of trucks. What do we need all these trucks for? For new deployments. Oh yeah, it's because you need... Because I put the motorized in here. Maybe that actually was... Mis what are rangers? Defense goes up, breakthrough goes down. I know some of this stuff's going to go worse. You know, let's throw the rangers in here. That sounds pretty cool. And that probably means we need significantly less trucks now, right? About a thousand less? Okay, I'll take it, I'll take it. Okay, so Mexico wants to buy... A thousand two hundred eighty-nine rifles. Yes. Sounds good. And again, we can use that for our, uh, our economy at home. 
Let's build more. Let's build some factories in Brittany as well. And how's Madrid doing? It's looking okay. It's, it's looking fine. Okay, let's move these troops over to Washington. And the American question. Absolutely send as much as we can. Spare everything. I see no reason not to. I've already got my volunteers over there, so I think it makes sense. Okay, let's just go with you for now. Hemingway speech. Give me the political power. It did take Badajoz, unfortunately. We can't let... Okay, give Chile support as well. Go to Seville. We did take Washington, so we want you to kind of keep pushing your way down south. Let's go take Richmond next as well. And these two armies now completely filled up. We have, like, so many volunteers, and we're going to have to send volunteers down to uh, Argentina as well in the future. Also, question, is there anybody who is... Ideology. Is there anybody who's socialist that we have not supported yet? You know, clique is socialist. Okay. Interesting. Party commune, of course, they're totalist. Okay. So nobody who we didn't otherwise expect. How's the, how's the opinion of us? Everyone kind of hates us. A little sad. It's a little sad for us, but that's okay. Okay, we secure this position. You should get killed off in a moment. Keep moving your way over to Seville. Modern equipment research bonus wouldn't be bad. You know, let's do the anti-colonial uh, committee. We'll piss off the uh, the French in Algeria a little bit. Sounds beneficial to me, if I do say so myself. And Hungary's now at war. I do want to send volunteers to the, Hung to the Hungarians. Because a weak Hungary is beneficial for us. Or a weak Austria, I should say. Yes, let's send troops over here. These planes, I realize, aren't actually following anybody. How are you guys doing, by the way? You got some stuff going on. I guess you can just fly here. That seems okay for now. You guys look like you're doing fine. I mean, we probably also do want to support... The Belgrade Pact against Bulgaria as well. How many volunteers can we send to each of you? One. And I'm assuming we can send one to each of you. Yes. He's already assigned somewhere. Let's assign you. Let's assign you and let's assign you. We're going to have volunteers basically the world over. You don't have to support me. Like ideologically. You just have to also be against my enemies. They call that shit real politic. Um, what do we want? Okay, so volunteers again sent to all of you. Help Chile, of course. Are you at war? Not quite yet, but I'm assuming you're going to be at war very, very soon. The CNT, you want to buy guns? Absolutely. Captures more territory for our comrades. And the White Terror. The Swiss Federal Army and his repugnant reactionary volunteer auxiliaries have defeated the heroic defenders of social revolution in Romandie and Havad Savoy. A thousand stream across the border to seek asylum in France. French-speaking militiamen are executed uh, after mock trials, with right-wing activists and bourgeois hunt down socialists, anarchists, and syndicalists, loot their homes, and take gruesome revenge on their families. Such atrocities reported by our state broadcasters are uh, causing uproar in France, and every true syndicalist is now ready to free not only Savoy, but even the Romans from the clutches of Switzerland's bloodthirsty rulers. As our aircraft are ready to take off and strike against Swiss territory and our troops are concentrated near the border, the Committee de Salut Public has informed Bern that the Havot Savoy uh, shall not be uh, evacuated by the Swiss Federal Army and its control of transfer of uh, communal authorities. And Romani political leaders insisted to their positions, war will be inevitable. Okay, so you know what? Fuck the anti-colonial committee for now. Demand Havot Savoy. Please and thank you. Yes, okay, so we've taken Seville. Let's go down to Gibraltar here. You've got to be almost dead. Like, you've lost Madrid as well. Like, it's so over.
And I still want you to move your way here. So we do want to take Etchenberg. I, I will say the Russian Civil Wars lasted a little bit longer than I was expecting. And let's just have you guys move your way down here. Let's go take Norfolk. And Geneva and the Swiss French. The bourgeois Swiss government has shown its true face and has toppled the democratically elected socialist councils in Geneva, Lisbon, and other French-speaking cantons. As if this weren't enough, now they, uh, too, they beat the and bloody Frenchmen on our own soil in Savoy. Our agents have reported numerous atrocities against armed workers and civilians as the Swiss Federal Army has implemented martial law. Despite their best efforts, some French-speaking syndicalist sympathizers have evaded the Federal Army and have found a safe haven in our country. Uh, they have just set up a syndicalist Swiss uh, French government in exile and called for the restoration of properly elected officials and the prosecution of uh, current federal government. Since none of the reactionary powers seem to be willing to come to Switzerland's rescue, this one time our two need to send ultimate a burn and both empower syndicalist movements in our neighbor and see their turn on our rifle territory. No, we will uh, demand it from the Swiss. I'll even demand Ramondi. I'll demand everything. Okay, so once again, we'll go back to the anti-colonial committee. We have a lot of volunteer forces in transfer. Now, I'm not expecting Hungary to win their war against the Austrians. This really is just to try to buy some time. Okay, there goes Gibraltar. Let's go take this city next. We have the, uh, we've selected the uh, voice of our province to defend our people, and Swiss have accepted. Press for greater... Press! Press them! See so if you can get even more out of them. Okay. Hungarian Volunteer Divisions, let's send you... Let's send you up north, maybe? And the Swiss gives in. As we probably informed the Swiss that their proposal to cede Havot Savoy was not in our best interest, they have further shown their weakness and aversion to conflict by agreeing to our proposals to institute reforms in the nation to protect the rights of syndicalists in the nation. No doubt these reforms will lead to eventual supremacy of syndicalism in the nation, and the Swiss will certainly drift to our own sphere of influence. Also, I, I do like how... If we just take a vote, we get 10% uh, stability. If we puppet them, we only get, like, 20 political power. I mean, it's better for us if we get, like, a whole puppet state, but still. Uh, and then you. Look at that. You're my little faction. But I will say that at least for right now, it's going to be a great time for us to end this episode. So if you enjoyed my thumbs up, not enjoy my thumbs down. You want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.